Okay, let's see how much you remember, um, or if you can't remember from yesterday, if you, w w if you were on an aeroplane. Um, the past simple I did, when we're telling a narrative story, what do we use the past simple for? For? The time of the story? Yes. So, main events and it's... So, when I say the time of the story, I mean in that moment. Yeah? So, when, when you're telling a story, you become quite expressive. So, if you're telling a story about walking in the park, and suddenly a dog jumped out, okay? When you're telling a story, you would say, I was walking in the park, and suddenly a dog jumped out. So, you're, you're acting in the moment of the story, okay? So, the part, we use the past simple for the main events in the story, okay? The past continuous is for... So, for example, I was walking in the park when a dog jumped and I <coughs> killed it. No. Yeah. So, and the past perfect is... Um, so, any action before the time of the story. So remember I told you yesterday, um, when, you're, when you're telling a story, you want to make it interesting. So if these events happened, I think we did this when we did the past perfect. I was washing and I looked outside and I saw some birds, beautiful, the, the, rah, rah, the galah birds, yeah? And I, oh, I want to get a photo for Facebook, okay? So, I went to get my camera, the birds flew away, when I came back, empty garden. That's a boring story, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't have any, because it doesn't tell how I felt when I saw the birds. So we tell the story like this, past continuous, what was happening? I was washing up in my kitchen, past simple, I looked out the window. Past simple again, I saw three big galahs. Past simple, I went to get my camera. But, past simple, when I came back, past perfect, the time of the story is me here. Past perfect, the birds had flown away. So we use the past perfect for any action before the time of the story. Okay? Another example, uh, yesterday I arrived at work, past simple, and I suddenly remembered, past simple, I had left my lunch at home. No, oh, past perfect. Okay? All right. Now the past perfect continuous is the same, a continuous action happening up until the time of the story, okay? It's different to the, pre pe uh, the past continuous because the past continuous can continue after the story. I was traveling on the train and a man said, hey, give me your money. And I was like, Phew! and he knocked out and then I c continued traveling on the train and I got off the train. I took his wallet, okay? <laughs> But the past perfect continuous, the story that we did yesterday, we had been hiking in the forest for hours. And we were very tired, so we decided to stop and camp for the evening. Okay? Clear? Clear as mud? See, let's go you two together. Yeah. Two, two. Brazil, Colombia, it's fine. Okay? So, yeah? Yeah, yeah, great. Okay, I'm going to give you a piece of paper. Person number one comes up here, reads the first sentence, goes to their partner, speaks the sentence, the partner writes it down. You've done this before. Yeah. Yes? This is a pronunciation and listening exercise. And the reason I've put you together with different nationalities is to help your accent.
line. Okay, so, you um, so what we're doing is we're looking at one line, coming back and then telling it and they're going to write it down. So when you finish, you should have the whole story here. It's too long? This is a really good exercise for pronunciation. Are you ready? Go. No, Cassio, Cassio, Cassio. Cassio. Now start. Pass. P-A-S-S. Both. Both. I-D-E. G-U-I. D-E. D. D. E. Guide. So follow me. E. E. Guide. 